Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Moroz and today I will discuss with you a five basic commands in MC-DOS operating system. Those commands will help you out to um, uh, operate with MC-DOS operating system and for some cases like if you need to make a backup or you need to basically copy some files or delete some folders or delete some folders or files or just create a folder in MC-DOS or just you know see what kind of files you have on some disks using MC-DOS uh, operating system today we're gonna discuss how to do that before I'm gonna do that let me go ahead and introduce you what is MC-DOS MC-DOS was developed by, by Microsoft operating uh, Microsoft systems and stands for Microsoft system uh, operating disk MC-DOS and um, uh, it was developed in 1979 and it was very popular during 1980 and 1990s. Uh, today's, uh, today we have uh, 2010, February 2010, and uh, you don't need to know anything about uh, MC-DOS uh, at this time. All what you need to know to get you going, basically five commands. Uh, commands to uh, switch between the folders comments to see uh, uh, what is uh, uh, to see the files and the folders and subfolders uh, comments to switch between the disks and comments to copy some files folders and subfolders and comment to delete those files or folders so five comments and let me go ahead I'm gonna be very quick so you press and pause and you can read and MC-DOS can be on two different computers. One computer can have the operating system such as Windows, like Windows NT, 2000, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. And computers that doesn't have no operating system are only the MC-DOS operating system. And when the computer has the MC-DOS operating system, that's when you have the black screen and the white letters that you can type. And by pressing Enter, it will take the command and um, you can type again and press enter and enter but when you're in the Windows operating system today I'm gonna discuss um, in the Windows console MC-DOS operating system when you have the MC-DOS but as a console and Windows operating system but the commands going to be just the same as the MC-DOS operating system when you don't have the Windows alright to run it uh, MC-DOS uh, you need to start your computer and if you have the MC-DOS operating system it's gonna start and it's gonna bring you the black screen where you can type or in the windows you need to click uh, a windows symbol on your keyboard or on the left uh, bottom corner start button and click run and you need to type CMD click enter and it's gonna bring the MC-DOS console when you have a computer that doesn't have Windows operating system it's going to be just a um, black screen and it's gonna say C a column slash when in the Windows it's saying C a command slash and um, and some bunch of blah 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 well and when you don't have a Windows it's not gonna be that blah 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 well anyway, so you can see it's blinging, means that you can type, press enter, type, press enter. Wherever it's blinging, means that you can send a command to MC thinking. Whatever it's thinking, it's not going to blink. Alright, or whatever you cannot type, the, the inputs on your keyboard, it's not going to blink. Alright, so the first thing that we need to find out and learn how to switch between the disks let's say I wanna go to this queue and I have this queue on this computer so to do so I need you to type the disk letter and co column and click enter as you can see it's gonna bring us to the disk queue alright um, you will say well I'm afraid of the MC-DOS system it's pretty scary I don't know all those uh, you know I'm a beginner and I'm afraid 
I'm gonna type something and it's not gonna work or I'm gonna danger my data or my hard drive or computer not gonna start well let me tell you a good thing that there's nothing you can do to the MC DOS system by typing something and pressing enter to damage your computer or your files if if you're gonna type something accidentally it's gonna tell you that command is not recognized as internal and external command by the way MC DOS operating system has two types of commands internal and external and today we're gonna discuss about the internal five commands which is with the operating system well as you can see what I was saying like this means that MC-DOS is not recognizing the command whatever the MC-DOS is not responding you anything back doesn't mean that the command was wrong it means that MC-DOS probably already did the command and we're gonna discuss this during our samples alright let's go ahead and discuss the CD CD is a stands for the change directory from one state to another and from uh, just jump through the folders or directories folders let's say I know there is a, this uh, the folder test on the Q disk and I want to go there by typing test and clicking enter it's gonna tell me that there is no such a command as a test well to go inside of the test folder I need to type CD command and the name of the folder uh, click space the name of the folder and click enter it's gonna bring us to the test folder and it's gonna tell us the path Q a common a column um, backslash test so we're in a test folder alright uh, let's say I'll, I don't know what is in the test folder I would like to find out and now we're gonna discuss what is dear and dear command is stands for to show you what kind of files and folders and subfolders inside of that folder and it's gonna give you the information of the creation the size and the full name of the file with the extension and as well as uh, how, how much bytes we got free on the disk alright uh, that's uh, we just discussed how to do how to use the dear uh, let's say I wanna go to test 3 I'm going to pass CD test 3 enter and it's going to bring us to the test 3 folder and I would like to find out what kind of files in here I'm going to dear and I'm going to see there is zero files saying over here alright how to go back to go back you need to type um, on the folder before you need to type like this you need to type cd space and then q semicolon I mean column then a back slash I wanna go back to test and type test folder and backslash and click enter and it's gonna bring us to the test folder so basically what I'm doing I'm just typing if I wanna go to test folder so I need to type the whole path over here to go to that folder to go back so I'm, I just type that alright I'm in the test right now so that's how we're using dear alright the next thing we're gonna discuss how to make the directory and to make new directories we're gonna use the mkdir command I'm gonna type mkdir let's say in a test folder I wanna create a new folder I'm gonna go call it as a test5 I'm gonna say mkdir space and name of the folder test5 I'm gonna click enter and nothing happened as you can see means that we created the test5 folder but system didn't uh, respond to us back and how to check it by typing dir and we're gonna see the structure of the folders and files in that folder and test5 is right here so we created successfully always checking it my suggestion for you alright now we just understand how to create the folder and now let's discuss how to copy uh, how to copy a file and then how to copy the files and the folder into the different drive let's say you want to make a backup on your external drive first let's to discuss how the xcopy command work and how to copy one file first let's say from the um, uh, from the uh, folder 
uh, test I would like to copy into test 5 I would like to copy the capture.wave file so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna type x copy on the command and then uh, click space and then I'm gonna say what kind of file I would like to copy in this uh, case capture.wave the file name with the extension dot wave space and the folder the destination where I would like to copy that file to the test 5 folder I'm gonna click enter and it's gonna tell us that capture wave copied alright how to find out if I would like to um, copy uh, 